Um, the old way to do decoupage is that you would put goopy stuff down and you would put the white paper on or paper on it and then you put goopy stuff on it. I'm sorry. I'm not got the other cases, but you got it? No. I got the invitation might be too many things. Hello, this is Holly Miller and this is Country Road Crafts and I'm going over how the new way that we learned how to do decoupage. When I was a kid, we would do decoupage and you'd put down a medium and put down tissue paper and put medium on top and it was a little messy. I would get bubbles and I would get wrinkles and it would just be a mess. So the new way we did it, we did it with an iron and um, parchment paper and it actually did wonderful. So um, we used the fusion decoupage medium. I don't know if you guys can see that. And so I'm going to show you guys how to put it down. Uh, the important thing about this is to make sure it goes on evenly. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but it needs to cover and needs to go on evenly and make sure that it's covered, I guess. That's the right word. I didn't get it covered the first time, so evenly that's why. Evenly covered. Evenly covered. I didn't get it covered the first time I tried this, so it's important to do that. Um, the Fusion Decoupage Medium is white, so it helps you be able to see. because it helps me put it on evenly so it, it put it on uh, it goes on white and it dries clear so you don't have to worry about it being uh, white showing through if I had a darker piece if I had a lighter piece of, of uh, decoupage paper I put white underneath it or a lighter color so um, the decoupage papers are translucent. So you want to make sure that whatever color is underneath is what, you know, it's going to show through. If it's the wood color, if it's a light piece of paper, it's going to show through. So I want to roll it on evenly. If you guys can see that. You put this on, let it dry 20 minutes. Put the second coat on, let it dry, and then you should be able to, you should be able to, um, <laughs> you should be able to iron it on. If you don't have the decoupage um, transfer gel, you can use the Ultra Grip bonding agent. I don't know if you can see that. And what the bond, the ultra grip does is just an agent to help you put it on. It's the same thing. It does the same thing. It'll dry. You put a light coat on. It's white in the container. When you put it on, it's white. It dries clear. When um, you put two coats on, just to save as you with the um, transfer gel. And then what's going to happen is uh, after it dries with the iron, it's going to reactivate with the paper and make it stay on. So, this is in dry, so I'm going to move this aside because I did one earlier. And you guys might see Finn the Wonder Pup. He's hiding out, helping tonight. <laughs> He's giving me the sad ass. He wants to be on TV. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, what I've done is I put two coats down. It's, I put even coats on. It's dry to touch. We did it a few hours ago. I'm gonna line it up. You guys can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up. If you don't want such a straight and um, blocky piece of uh, work, you can uh, rip the edges a little bit and make them jagged and make it look like um, that it was meant to be that way. <laughs> I like the straight edges. 
I got parchment paper. I'm just gonna put parchment paper over top of it. My iron is set to wool, no steam, no water. It will make a mess and it will ruin your paper. Um, you want parchment paper, not wax paper. Wax paper is not what you need. You need parchment paper. So you need to make sure they look similar in the thing. Because I couldn't figure it out. Frank had to help me on that. <laughs> and make sure I had parchment paper. My iron is set on a medium, which is the wool setting. There's no water in it. Don't use steam. And I'm just going to iron it on. You don't have to go real fast, but don't hold it in a spot too long because it will scorch it. So you want to just keep it moving. And I'm just going to iron around, moving it. By doing it this way, it will keep it from wrinkling. And it will keep it from... Um, Put some corner and work out. Oh. He's telling me to work from a corner and work out. Make sure your iron on the parchment paper because uh, it will scorch the the um, paint. Sorry. So I'm just working around, just making sure it's you know I'm moving it back and forth, not to scorch it in any spot. The heat's not too high. What's going to happen is the heat on the iron is going to activate that agent and make it, you know, pull to it. Just going to work it around. And keep working it. Where did you get the paper at? Oh. <laughs> the paper I'm using, the decoupage paper, is Roy Cycles. Um, decoupage. We sell it on our Shopify and we sell it in our um, stores in Jacksonville. We have Antique de Chic and we have it in the Foundry. I will post those on the um, comments when we're done with this on what, which ones we're using. Where did you get the decoupage gel? The decoupage gel and the um, Ultra Grip is a fusion product, and also we sell those on the Shopify, and we sell them in both the stores in Jacksonville. Um, the particular paper I'm using here is called Art Nuvio Blocks. You can see that. It's a big sheet. We just took one of the blocks. And I think, I think I got it. I think I'm moving it too fast so it's not actually sealing down good yet. So I'm going to try it a little slower. We did this on a tea cart the other night um, that we're getting ready to put into one of the stores. Um, I'll post a picture of it when we get done on the comments. So, you guys can see that. Still think there's some size I didn't get good yet. So, just have to make sure I'm getting the edges real good. I don't think I'm getting those real good, so I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Slow down. And slow down a little bit. So I guess patience is definitely we gotta in practice. So it's all down on the sheet. It's hot. After you're done, um, what, what happens if you end up with bubbles with this? Oh. And why would you get bubbles with this? 
On the other one that we did, when I started doing it the first time before I learned how to use this, I had bubbles. I didn't get enough medium down on it. Um, I didn't get a clear, um, even coat. coat, so it bubbled in certain areas. So what I had to do was uh, put another top coat on of the decoupage, let it dry, and then do it again. And when you're done, if you have the edge and you want it clear, you just take a sponge and just... Uh, Not a sponge. I'm sorry. This is a sanding block. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Sanding block, and you would just take it and at an angle go across the edges with it, and it'll pull it off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. It should be fairly easy just to chop it right off. It is easy. You lay that down the edge of the table. But you can't see it in the picture. I don't have and it lay it on the edge of the side. Can you guys see it? There we go. I'm gonna just, and this is on the fine side of the block. I sell these in the store and online too. And Ben's trying to get the paper off the edge. And actually, it gives you doing it that way gives you a, a clean edge. You guys can see that. So it gives you a clean edge. And like I just had that top there that came off. So what I would do is just iron it again and just keep doing it until it's all down. Once it's all down and this is complete, you can top coat it with the clear coat mat or clear coat gloss uh, from Fusion. Um, they're in the shop. I don't have any here at the house, but I do sell them online and I do have them in both the shops in Jacksonville. If you have any questions or you would like any information, just comment and We'll get back with you guys. Thanks and have a great day.